The record-breaking amount of people who dislike Meghan has rendered her permanently glum. 100% of Brits say they dislike her. What's up, pals? Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Royal Family News Update, where we will be bringing you the latest breaking news about the royal couple most infamous for their hypocrisy, Harry and Meghan Markle. The Netflix documentary series starring Meghan Markle and Prince Harry has been the subject of much criticism. Meghan Markle has been accused of projecting scorn for the United Kingdom and openly ridiculing the British people during her shocking Netflix documentary series. During an early episode, Harry recalled the conversation he had with Meghan when he first presented her to the Queen, and she joked about having to bow to the late monarch. They spend a good chunk of the documentary series discussing how much better off they are in California with their two young children now that they are no longer subject to the constant scrutiny of the British press. In one recording, Harry uses the phrase institutional gaslighting, and then, in another, Meghan tells the camera, I wasn't being thrown to the wolves, I was being fed to the wolves. Meghan says, when we first started talking about moving to the US, I was like, our safety was being taken away from us. Everyone on earth knew precisely where we were. When Harry said, we need to get out of here, I said, I agree. In the final episode, which takes place at 6 a.m. on March 14, 2020, Evil Harry also says, we are on the Freedom Flight. We're jet-setting it across the pond to sunny California. However, in an exclusive interview, Niall Gardiner, a foreign policy expert based in Washington, and a rabid fan of the British royal family, raged. When Meghan claims that their security has been ripped away and fed to the wolves, she is projecting a sense of victimhood. According to this theory, the British people as a whole have been unfair to her, not just the royal family. She clearly harbors resentment for the British press and displays disdain for the British government. The British people and the British monarchy have been subjected to extreme insult in some of the videos. It's ridiculous to think you can hide out from persecution in Britain. She's putting it in terms of a this phrase, freedom flight, is an egregious slur on Britain and its people. As Mr. Gardiner puts it, a tremendous backlash against Meghan and Harry in the UK was sparked by the Netflix documentary and the couple has since lost any remaining goodwill they may have had among the British public. He said the show insults the royal family and slaps the face of the British people. Following that, the fan of the royal family continued, There is no mistaking the intent behind this documentary series to smear the British royal family's good name. There will be a fierce backlash against Meghan and Harry in the UK as a result. The monarchy serves as a symbol of the British people. This Netflix documentary is not only insulting to the British royal family, but also to the British people as a whole. This video will be seen by the royal family as a massive betrayal and an all-out assault on the British monarchy. Then Mr. Gardiner elaborated. The royal family is too much a hurdle for Meghan and Harry to cross. Due to their recent brutal attacks, they have no chance of redemption. Meaningfully, they have completely extinguished any remaining goodwill among the British people. They have severely damaged their relationship with the British monarchy and ruined any chances of mending fences with Buckingham Palace. It says a lot about Meghan's ego that she assumed, as an American, it was her duty to update the monarchy. During the course of preparing dinner, she probably told Harry that we could rewrite the script and make ourselves king and queen. Because I am a skilled fabricator of falsehoods, I propose that we immediately begin using this strategy to turn your father into one who behaves more like mine. In a year's time, at the very most. The problem we're having can be solved if she can just catch it. Catherine's reaction to the restrictions of royal life would have been understandable if she had lived a more ordinary life before becoming a princess, but this toxic creature studied the royals and, despite her meek denials, knew exactly what they were all about. Success and wealth appeared before her. It didn't work out for her because she ran into a very powerful woman who had no interest in altering the monarchy to suit her purposes. That's an unforgivable slight in the narcissist's eyes, and shall hold a lot of resentment against you forever. Meghan had no intention of ever being British or having any affiliation with the British monarchy. 
if you consider her actions, statements, and point of view. Things she needed were still in California, but she had left them there. Isn't it strange that a person who is about to marry a royal would simply pack up and move to another country? She never made an effort to learn about British customs and instead mocked the royal family. Even though it's obvious that Harry's wife has no intention of ever settling down in the UK or assimilating to its culture, he still can't seem to tell the difference between her and a machine. The tragic truth is that if she had, she could have educated people and established civil rights programs in England to address racism. It's a lot simpler to whine and place blame when you can trace your roots to the movie industry in Hollywood. She never experienced life as it actually exists in either black or white America or Britain. An insider had this critical thing to say. Where are you trying to get away from? Where is the evidence that she or he was being relentlessly pursued and harassed by a third party? I watched a lot of footage of Katie Price and other people's adventures, but, dear me, none of their own. That she still lives in the delusional and irrational belief that the same people who adored Diana also love her is beyond absurd. I am relieved she is no longer here because her demeanor was unworthy of a queen. It was embarrassing that she didn't know how to behave, and she was as ordinary as muck. One of their truths was that they had five options, with number three being half in, half out. But I have no doubt that the real options presented by our dearly departed queen were in or out. I am not surprised if she sat quietly while William yelled at him. She had probably run out of patience trying to explain why half in, half out wouldn't work and halfwit was having a temper tantrum as a result. He looked like an idiot for trying to shift blame after publicly declaring that they would be working half in, half out, only to have that plan thwarted. In the documentary, Harry claims that Kensington Palace lied to protect Prince William by issuing a joint statement in both of their names on the same day, despite the fact that he did not give his permission for this to happen. This statement denied claims that William had forced Harry out of the royal family. When the Queen convened the royal family in Sandringham in January 2020 to discuss a solution to the Megxit crisis, Harry accused his father, King Charles III, of making false statements. When Harry's brother yelled and shouted at him, it frightened him, he said. In addition, Harry claimed that King Charles made statements that really simply weren't true in rejecting his proposal to partially abdicate his royal duties. What gave him the idea that, as a spare, he would be consulted on matters of state? He was an adult, and as such should have known that his perks would have to be cut if he wanted out. He insisted on having his own way at all times, which obviously never worked out. Do you agree that Meghan Markle deserved the widespread backlash she received after the release of her and Prince Harry's blockbuster? Leave a comment and tell us what you think. We sincerely hope you learned something from this video. You can show your appreciation by subscribing to the channel, liking the video, and sharing it with your friends. Please enjoy the next video in this newsletter series and thank you for watching. Goodbye.